Restrictions loosen, masks come off, and people return to the workplaces. Some of the things that we were used to doing before the pandemic hit may be just a little bit scary now. Yeah, and it's going to take some time to navigate all the changes. Tori Dunman has a look at getting back to greeting each other with a bit of grace. You're sitting at a coffee shop getting ready to meet a friend, or you're there for a business meeting. When the person arrives, they come in to shake your hand or for an embrace. That would have been normal back then. The only problem now is not everyone's on the same page. Your thumb should be up toward the ceiling. There is a right way. One, two, three. Hello, Tori. How are you today? It's very nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. And a wrong way to shake hands. According to Sherry Thomas, the president of Palm Beach Etiquette. You do not crush bones. I call that the bone <laughs> I, crusher. I the bone crusher, yeah. Do not do the floppy fish. We as Americans only have one or two styles of greeting. She's consulting with businesses about the so-called greeting gray area. What I'm seeing in companies is that there is no standard. She does recommend breaking the ice on Zoom calls with a handshake. Say I'm sending you a virtual handshake. But readiness for that handshake or hug back in the office or out and about is all over the place. Everybody understands the psychological trauma that we've all endured during this time, and we have. This has been a big ordeal in our lives. So let your conscience be your guide. These days, the hugs are definitely out. It seems the right and wrong way to greet people is a bit blurred. Elbow bumps, yeah, we get those. At this point, it's been mostly fist bumps. Eric Cornell is the managing director of the Cornell Group at Ameriprise Financial. Historically, it has been, uh, it has been a staple for a very, very long time. In the business world, it the handshake is the gold standard. In the past, like if someone wouldn't shake your hand, would you do business with them? Probably not. Uh, you know, that would reflect pretty poorly on, uh, on, on, on us, um, as a matter of fact, because it's a sign of trust, it's a sign of respect. The reality is, is that you know, it's, just, it's, it's a forced change. A forced change that has business owners navigating new normals. How are you? Ellen Bauer, the owner of the Wellness Jar Medical Spa, greeted me at the door just as she would any client. We get a sense and right when they're coming in. A system put in place after an unnerving interaction at the height of the pandemic. They said they didn't know what to do other than to shake the hand back with the deer eyes and just saying, I don't know what just happened. And that's actually why we started to have the conversation to with our staff. Thomas says if someone is coming in hot and you're not game, stop them politely. By just simply saying, I hope you understand, but I've become a little accustomed now. That's not shaking hands, not giving hugs, so please don't take offense. If you do go in for the handshake, she says you can unapologetically grab the hand sanitizer. Sorry, I just do this now. It's just a matter of habit. That's interesting. So yeah. hand sanitizer and then shake hands. The new way of doing things. It's the new way. <laughs> so we've kind of been talking about this this morning on Good Day Utah, just kind of taking a poll about what you think. Are you ready for the hugs as well as the handshakes? So that is coming up in our Connect segment, but you can weigh in on our Facebook page as well. Let's kind of take that poll. Let us know if you're ready for things to go back to how they were pre-pandemic. You know, I hope we never have to do the chicken wing thing again. <laughs> you know? I agree. I don't like That's it. That's just lame. <laughs> That's just my opinion, of course, but you don't need to chicken wing me. If you do, I won't be offended. <laughs> However you want to greet is fine, but... I'm ready know. for the handshake. I'm a handshaker hugger. <laughs>